Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video we're exploring the Angel of Cambriel. Now Cambriel is one of the Zodiac Angels and I'm sure you've heard of the 12 Zodiac Signs before. Now when we think of the Zodiac Signs we normally think of our star sign or our sun sign and that is the sign that we're born in. So we're either an Aquarius or a Gemini or a Libra or so on. But did you know that each of the Zodiac Signs also governs part of our lives? So, for example, Aquarius, which we're going to dive into in this video, governs our friendship group. And not just our friends, but the people we know in our lives, that I guess we generate power because of power in numbers. And that's about communities, organizations, groups, teams, and so on. So it really helps us to bring people together for the betterment of all mankind. And that's what Aquarius also governs as well. So when we're looking at the angel that looks over the sign of Aquarius, which is Cambriel, we're not just looking at a guardian angel for those born under that sign, but whenever we need help with that aspect of our lives, we can call upon Cambriel regardless of when we are born throughout the year. So in this video, we're going to dive into how you'd work on how you'd work with Cambriel, how when you'd call upon him, and different crystals and oils that you can bring in to really harmonize with Cambriel's beautiful energy. The angel Cambriel helps awaken the Aquarian nature in all of us. Now the Aquarian nature is very much about working together with people, collaborating with people, and starting to think outside the box so we can start to expand and evolve and work towards a utopia or a more euphoric or enriched kind of life. So he can really help us to um, embrace and understand science, technology, or anything that's new and innovative. Whenever there is a problem and you need to think outside the square, you can call on Cambriel, and Cambriel will really help to bring new ideas into your mind, but also to bring them into your life as well. Now, when things do, do go wrong, Cambriel is a great angel to sit with and really reside with and say, how can I learn from, the, you know, from this past hurt or these past experiences? How can I learn from these mistakes and turn them into wisdom rather than just being pain that causes me to be inhibited in the future? Cambriel takes enriching experiences and emotions and allows you to connect them to the heart and share them with other people so that you get this kind of connection. You often find that when we can relate to someone else's story, it really creates this great, beautiful connection, and Cambriel allows us to do that. Overall, Cambriel is looking at helping to lift people up, each individual, including yourself, and allowing you to shine, keep growing, be innovative, and be a really strong leader in the world in helping to change and make this world a better place. That is what Cambriel helps people to do, and that's what his energy really helps as well, to be inspired, to think outside the square, to learn from our mistakes and keep on evolving, growing more and more and more. The angel Cambiel is often seen or depicted as having a crystal over the third eye chakra. Now the third eye chakra is of course using our own intuition and our own intellect and wisdom and bringing that together to understand how the world works. So we call on Cambria whenever we need to understand what's happening around us and when we're ready to keep growing in different ways. Cambria believes that utopia or euphoria is achievable, but we just have to think about how we're tackling each thing and keep on looking to how is the better way? What is the better way? So whenever your life is feeling stagnant, call on Cambria. Whenever you're feeling stuck, feel on Cambria. Whenever you can't find a solution, call on Cambria in that way. Cambriel, if he starts appearing around you, is really encouraging you to keep on asking the question, how does it get better than this? When we kind of make statements to the universe like, oh, this is the greatest ever, or this is the best birthday I've ever had, we're almost capping it, we're putting a glass ceiling on it. Cambriel's like, no, 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 I want you to think bigger, I want you to do better. There's always a better way, there's always a way to improve, to evolve, to grow, and that's what Cambriel will help you to do. So whenever you are feeling that you're ready to up level, or that you're stuck and not able to up level, this is when we'll call upon Cambriel. Now, I'm gonna tell you some crystals and oils that you can work with to bring in his energy in just a moment, but when he's around, you tend to sense a bit of inspiration, a bit of lightness, the brain starts ticking and whirling a little bit, and you may see deep blue flashes of light, or some other symbol that he will use to kind of indicate, hey, I want you to look at this, is anything to do with pictures of water. Remember when we look at the Aquarian sign, there's the, um, pouring like Ganymede pouring the um, pitcher of water so anything to do with water or pitchers or jugs that can often be if that catches your eye that could be Cambriel as well
Dedicating a crystal to Cambriel can really help you to call upon that energy and have that energy surround you whenever you need that. Whether you are an Aquarius and want constant guardianship from Cambriel or you're someone else who just wants a bit of inspiration to think outside the square or to bring people together to bring on a revolution and a better life and a better, I guess, the betterment of the planet Earth overall. Now, the first crystal that I'd recommend you work with when you're first getting to know Cambriel, kind of the initiatory crystal, is a crystal called Falcon's Eye, which is a blue tiger's eye. Now, it has a bit of a sheen to it, and it's really, first of all, protective, but it also helps to, um, I guess, ignite that third eye chakra and bring in new ideas and think outside the square. Now, being connected to the animal, the falcon, when you think about the falcons, they fly high overhead, and so they get this big bird's eye perspective. They have a broader perspective, and Cambria really encourages you to start doing that with your life, and this crystal will help you to do that as well. Now, as you start to develop a deeper working with Cambrio, you may want to move up to a more high vibration rare crystal. And the one that I'd recommend you give a shot with is called Afghanite. Afghanite is the crystal of the inspirational leader. It allows us to communicate and to get along with other people in different ways, um, to form great network, networks, teams, organizations, groups that will all band together in order to make the world a better place in one way or another. Afghanite allows you to speak from the heart, to speak from your own experiences, to speak what, from the wisdom that you've gained throughout your life to this point, and share that with other people so that they can connect with you and they can see a commonality between you and themselves. So this is a really beautiful crystal for helping you to inspire others, to make the world a better place, whereas the falcon's eye will just help you to come up with the ideas. When you're ready to start working with other people, that's when Afghanite will work really well with Cambriel. Essential oils are another amazing way to bring in some angelic energy. Now with essential oils, you can make up a blend, you can pop it in a diffuser, you could make a rollerball and anoint maybe a third eye chakra with it, or you can aromatically dress in it by mixing it all with a bit of a carrier oil, like fractionated coconut oil, and massaging that all over your body and making that your natural fragrance. You can also combine the crystals and the oils together in a crystal cauldron. Getting a diffuser and a tumbled piece of Afghanite or falcon's eye, pop it in there and these oils, and that'll bring this, um, the energy of Cambrail into the space as well. So what is my blend that I use for Cambrail? Well, there's three different oils. The first one is black spruce. Now this, of course, is an essential oil that was gifted to us by this magnificent spruce tree from the leaves or the needles of this tree. And what happens with black spruce, it's got a real sense, first of all, of wonderment that it brings and it reawakens wonderment in the world. Or there's a Japanese word called yugen, which is kind of like that fascination and that sense of wow, when we look at the universe and how beautiful the natural world is and the planet is and that type of thing. So that's very much, you know, Canberra helps us to open up to that wonderment. But also black spruce helps us understand mathematics, sciences, music, sacred geometry, and anything that kind of has a form or a figure in how the world works. You know, that Aquarian nature is to nut it all out and work out how we could improve and to take advantage of science and technology and that type of thing. And black spruce really allows us to do that. It also supports us in doing these things as well. When I work with black spruce, the mantra that keeps on echoing in my mind is the universe has my back. So you know, the universe is always wanting us to keep growing and evolving and black spruce allows us to do that as well. The second oil in this blend is neroli which is gifted to us from the bitter orange blossoms. Now, neroli has been used in research or has been found in research to actually help people think outside the square. One group wasn't exposed to the aroma of neroli essential oil and another group was, and they both took the same test that encouraged them to lateral think or think outside the box. And those that smelt the neroli first performed a lot better. So whenever you need to think outside the square, reach for neroli. Neroli was used by the nymphs, you know, nature nymphs that would beckon young men and women out of their bedchambers at night, encourage them into the woods for a night of wild partying and ecstasy and whatever joyous bliss they would experience in that time. So again, Neroli always beckons you, how can I step outside my comfort zone and embrace something that's a little bit different, which is very much Cambriel's energy. The third oil is white grapefruit. Now, white grapefruit is a bit of a rarer grapefruit essential oil, but it really helps us to understand our own magic and to really be um, proud of who we are and to celebrate who we are as an individual. Each of us has different gifts to share. And the more we can see that in ourselves and the more we can see that in other people and connect that all together, we can bring a group together and do some amazing things to help make this world a better place. 
So try blending black spruce, neroli, and white grapefruit together. These three energies will harmonize together and you can use as many drops of each as you want, allow your intuition to guide you, and use these in different ways. And that will help to invite Cambriel's energy into your life. Now I'd love to hear if you've ever worked with Cambriel. Are you an Aquarius or did you need to bring some Aquarian energy into your life? If you have, please share your experiences and leave a comment in the section below and we can all learn more about Cambriel together. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.